Scott Naismith and as promised in part one I'm going to talk a little bit about technique. Yeah, technique and I'm sure you guys out there are dying to hear about all the technique involved. So uh, what was relevant for this one is the technique of scumbling and glazing and the combination of the two. Uh, scumble isn't a bowl of scum, it's a method where you use a thin layer of paint, generally a thin layer of paint, which is fairly dry, uh, on top of a dry underpainting. Uh, so you would, that's where the underpainting comes in from part one, so uh, if your underpainting is fairly thick and textured in areas, it's going to help the scumbling of uh, layers on top. So if you've got thick paint and impasto, you can scumble across that uh, by applying a thin layer of opaque or semi-opaque paint and the idea is that it breaks up that um, that color underneath in a way that combines both colors together. It works in a similar way to glazing in that the colors of the two layers are working together uh, but what scumbling does is it uh, gives you texture. Uh, and the reason that it's good to combine with glazing is that what glazing doesn't do is give you texture unless you apply the glaze in a, a, a certain way uh, but generally what it doesn't give you is texture so the scumble once the glaze is dry over the top of the impasto paint the scumble comes across and it accentuates the texture of the underpainting so even though in some places of your painting that the underpainting colour doesn't show at all at the end, the texture of that underpainting can be accentuated with scumbling. And uh, if you want, you can apply the glaze on top of the dry scumble uh, in order to soften the texture and uh, modify the colour of the scumble and glaze, depending on how subtle you want the scumbling. Uh, particular with my work, I like to actually keep the scumbling quite thick in paint. Uh, so instead of a really dry brush, it's actually a fairly loaded brush that uh, puts uh, maybe a, a mark onto the, the canvas rather than an overall scumble. Um, so in places, I'll, I'll play with that and then soften it and... Uh, the whole painting will be a process of softening and texturing and softening the texture and creating texture and then softening and that's where subtlety comes in and that's where um, the, those all important transitions and edges are made that bit more interesting within the painting and build up a more complex painting. Uh, if you want to have a look at how uh, scumbling and glazing really works well. Uh, don't stop at just me telling you about it. Go and have a look at some of Turner and uh, Rembrandt's work. And I don't mean just look at it online. I mean go and physically look at the paintings. You won't get a good idea of the effects of scumbling and glazing and techniques such as that uh, just looking at an image online. Uh, you really want to see it in the flesh to appreciate some of these techniques and what they do for the painting. Uh, I do my best with my paintings at the end and at the end of this one I'll try and give you a few close-up shots of some of the textures and some of the effects on the surface of the painting. Um, but big tip on this video, go and see paintings in the flesh. Don't just rely on your images online. Thanks a lot for listening to the commentary and uh, you can subscribe to the channel or follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Thanks a lot.